Hey guys, what's up? It's Evan here, and today I'm filming a video. Uh, it's a little bit different from what I normally do. This is going to be my primary discussion on um, my two different primaries that I've just acquired. We got White Fang, which we all know. Still not finished, but it's still usable. And then we just have the newly acquired Nerf Desolated. Now, before I get into differences, let's talk about similarities. Both are flywheel powered, so they both have the trigger, the rev trigger, both rev. Um, they both have the same performance, roughly, because they're both still stock blasters. Ergonomics. Both feel extremely well with the strike, with the white, with my strike feeling a little bit better. And the Desolator feeling very compact and very nice and comfortable to use. Fun fact, both of these are very fun to use as they have both have their lock, their physical locks removed and the Stripe having its uh, physical and electronic locks removed. They're both very fun to use. Also, mod potential. Both these are can be modded roughly the same as both the well the strife came first. This is basically a strife reshell, the desolator is. And alright, let's go into differences now because well I could talk about similarities all day. Differences. Size. This is the biggest fact big, biggest difference out of all of them. Strife is pretty long, if I remove the stock here and I put these side by side. They are roughly the same length. So yeah, I just put the stock back on, how I would normally use the stock. You can see just how much longer the stripe is, which is good and bad. It's good, so you can use it, you know, it looks cooler, gives you different spots to put your hands. Also bad because there's a lot more barrel drag, but yeah. But price, this is kind of objective here because I've... You know, this one's this one's an integration, but I spent twenty dollars on a stripe. Uh, I can't remember how much the Raider came new, and I got the Stampede for free at NVZ twenty uh, sixteen. Comment below if you were there and hit me up. But yeah, this one cost me a fair bit more, plus the epoxy putty and um, just all the time that I put into it. While don't even hear that my cat's here. Um, Desolator cost me 30 and I've just a little bit of time I've removed the locks. Yeah. Oh. On a side note, here's my cat. He's tactical cat he's camo. Alright. Alright. Yes, I know. So, yeah, this is just between my two different primaries. And also, usage. These two can, these two are used very differently. This is a Game of Thrones, Loot Crate, Notebook. These can be used very differently. This, uh, my strife is going to be used for, you know, not CQB. Anything that's not CQB, I can use this for. Sure, I can collapse the stock, but it's still a pretty lengthy blaster. So, yeah. I'm mainly going to be using this if, you know, there's a lot more open areas for, you know, using this because it's a bit harder to turn on corners quickly, but it still looks cool. The Desolator, use that for CQB because it's very small, it's very compact, it's shorter than my arm, so it's going to be very nice to uh, make this thing go through corners. It's a very smooth operation, as you know, Magwell's very smooth, Rev Trigger's very smooth, Trigger is now very smooth, everything works flawlessly. So, yeah, that's the basic. Uh, overview between my two blasters. Uh, when I get more footage of using both of these in, you know, games, you guys can see for yourself. But on a little side note, I'm giving away this Loot Crate exclusive Firefly patch. So if you actually watch Firefly, because I don't, or you just like the patch, hit me up on YouTube, like comment below. If you want the patch, hit me up on Instagram or on Twitter like uh, DM me on Twitter, I will take all of those uh, 
names and I'll put them into a random name chooser and it will choose a random person to uh, to, to win and then I will message you somehow either I'll reply to your YouTube comment uh, you know send, reply to your message on Instagram or Twitter and we'll work out details on how I get this to you it won't be signed or anything because I'm not that cool but I'm gonna cut the clip and we'll go be shooting that way so you guys can see the different performances all right see you in a bit all right so we're gonna be firing downrange at the door like where we normally shoot we're firing four darts out of each blaster starting with the desolator so we'll wait till it gets up to full rev and we'll fire four darts at the door tactical cats here other tactical cats back there so we are full tactics here we go As you can see, we really loaded four. So now we're going to move on to my strife, my modded strife, as you guys have seen in the video. And we're firing four darts out of that at the door again using the same color dart, so you're just going to have to pay attention. And as you can see, the cats are intrigued. And, uh, so yeah, that's my, uh, overview and comparison of my, uh, blasters. Here's Tactical Cat number one. Uh, Tactical Cat number two is hiding. But as you can see, pretty close, um, performance between the two. So, yeah, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have a post on both my Instagram and Twitter before this video goes live, and I'll make sure to in editing to put in both my Twitter handle and my Instagram username if you guys don't follow me already. So follow me. If you guys want to do more want more giveaways, just tweet at me or tag me in posts if you want more giveaways. And I'll make sure to do more in the future. So right now, talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.